G'day. Today's video is I'm talking about the 12VH PWR 16 pin connector, aka what are these little suckers? And these are the connectors that I've been seeing on 3060s or 3060Ti's and above. So the most recent controversy is the 4080s and the 4090s that were coming out with these and having four of those on there. And it wasn't until I saw one the other day that I realized that how small of a connector this one is, the 16 pin connector, or I'll just call it the 12 volt high power connector. So this, the pins on that are tiny compared to what we're used to seeing on standard 8 pin and 16 pin PCIe power connectors. And then looking at it on the board itself, so here I've got a, a PNY 3060 or 3060 Ti. The connector is this little baby one here, teeny tiny. And the amount of power that's going, no wonder the 4090s have been having issues where they're handling up to 600 watts of power, potentially up to 600 watts, through such a small area with an adapter on it, especially when we can compare it to 16 pins versus a standard 6 pin connector, which hopefully you guys can see there. It's really not much wider. It's, not, it's the same width as our standard 8 pin connector with double the capacity. So there's double the stuff going, or double the power going through a very similar location. Granted, 2 to 1, I don't have an issue with that. But when I saw this 4 to 1, I thought the amount of, no wonder there was so much concern about the flex of these cables, considering how much power is going through there and how many individual wires are going into that. So I would definitely be recommending if you are using something like a 4080, 4090, definitely avoid the converters and go to a native power supply that can support it. Luckily, this particular person that I saw with the 4090 had a Corsair HW model power supply and he was able to buy a native 16 pin connector. So with that, he could just buy the module that he required, plug it into his power supply, plug the other end into his 4090 and have no drama from there. Granted, on the lower wattage cards, I don't see much of an issue, especially when we're only utilizing two 8-pins. But definitely those graphics cards I've seen that have been using four jeepers. I'm not sure how trusting I would be, especially if that graphics card is purely getting supported. Well, they're a fairly large graphics card. A 49 is huge. And if you don't have anything to stop it sagging, you've got the full weight of one of these adapters holding up the graphics card at the other end. If this is holding up the graphics card at one end and it's generating that amount of, or using that amount of power going through it, I just see issues happening. No wonder there was a 4090, or 4090 mentioned issues regarding these connectors burning. It certainly does not surprise me. So it's definitely different. I'm not sure if I like it. Time will tell. Um, yeah, time will tell. Let's see how they go. Curious to see if AMD will start adapting these particular connectors as well, or if they'll just utilize a lower amount of power and just keep conforming to the standard 8-pin PCIe power cables. Anyway, bit of a ramble. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.